All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak I want to say double honor to the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone for teaching us this word in truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and our brother Gabar, Yahweh, Duffy, GMS, Hawaii, coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is like a, a reply slash so commentary on a video that the, uh, the elder brother, uh, Yachanan, uh, Yach, I think his name is Yachanan Salaki, brother, if I mess your name up, uh, from the UK, uh, Judah underscore Israel, okay? And um, please subscribe to his page. His brother always put up all uh, edifying videos. So, you know, subscribe and be edified, man. So, what uh, inspired this video what inspired this video is uh, Bobby Fischer, okay? Now, Bobby Fischer is best known for being a, a, a chess master. It's lucky about that. Bobby Fischer is best known for being a chess master, okay? I remember uh, there was a, a movie years ago called uh, Finding Bobby Fischer or something like that, you know, and I never knew much about him. I never knew his, his personal ideologies or his, you know, his feelings about America. Until that the elder brother pushed his, posted his video, and he was speaking about um, Bobby Fischer might be in a Jake man, because what you're going to see in a second is Bobby Fischer complaining about America. You know, which you got a lot of people complaining about America, even Edomites. You know, not just the fact that they're losing power and that they're losing influence amongst the world, but also too how they destroying their own people. For greed's sake, you know, all the wickedness that established this place. All right. So Bobby Fisher, Bobby Fisher's lock here. Bobby Fisher was complaining about some of the things that happened to him personally and just his thoughts, his thoughts on um on America, man. And again, uh America is full of hypocrisy and it's going down. You know what I'm saying? And America is the is the centerpiece of the Edomite kingdom that we're currently living in. The Roman Empire, the second Roman, second leg of the Roman Empire. Okay, I'm just looking for a preset right now. Gonna slip my mind. What I was looking for. Oh yeah, just bear with me, brothers. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two. All right, Habakkuk chapter two, verse. Uh, yep, verse sixteen. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory, because that shameful spewing is, uh, is being exposed on this devil. For so long, people thought what you call this, who you call the so-called white man was innocent, because it's the vibration he pushing on earth that he's innocent, he's clean, he's you know he's righteous, and everybody else is evil particularly the so-called black man you know we're every when you look up that term black it's synonymous with a whole bunch of wickedness and evil darkness dirty filthy all of that and that's what you know that's the image that they put on us but esau is the master of projection maybe i'll uh maybe i'll uh post that you know as the title as the working title esau is the master at projection you know he'll project uh, uh, he'll project a um, an image, but that's not. I'm sorry. He'll project all his wickedness on somebody else while taking on a clean image, but that's being exposed, as the scripture just said in um, Habakkuk two and sixteen. Thou art filled with shame for glory, right? How did Esau get this country? And you're gonna hear Bobby Fish even speak about it, you know, but. He, he killed millions of so-called Indians, North American Indians. He enslaved millions more of uh, so-called Africans from West Africa. And it wasn't just America, but America is the one that capitalized off it to the, to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? These other nations took a grave part in that too, and they're going to pay for it. These other Edomite nations, such as the Portuguese, the Spanish, they're going to pay for that too. We're talking about you Edomites here and Edom. 
aka Sodom and Egypt, spiritually Sodom and Egypt, aka Babylon the Great, aka America. You know, you 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 put the most hell on our people. You know, you destroyed our people. You 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 Edomites all across the world. You you've been able to benefit from the wickedness that your forefathers laid down, and is that wickedness is expressed heavily here in America. You know. So it says, Dalar filled with shame for glory, right? Because when you look at some of these people that they, they hold up high in this country, they, uh, um, they're all wicked. You know, they like to show you and try to humanize these so-called presidents and these so-called um, philanthropists. You know, those are all buzzwords or cover words for Edomites, wickedness, you know? And they try to, to paint this picture of a, a, of a sweet, and gentle Edomite, but there is no sweet and gentle Edomite, and you all have the same traits, you're violent, you're wicked, you're evil, you know, and you you got to be stopped, and even Bobby Fischer was complaining about you, so again, thou art filled with shame for glory, drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered, and the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on your glory, when you look up that word for shameful spewing, is disgrace. So it says, but soon, in the NLT, it says, but soon it will be your turn to be disgraced, right? Because we're, we as a nation, we've been disgraced. We've been disgraced amongst the world, man. But soon it's going to be you, Edomite's turn to be disgraced. Come, drink, and be exposed, right? Your sins and your iniquities are going to be exposed in some of your own kind. It even says, uh, not saying Bobby Fisher is your own kind, but he he when he was here, he was what you would call a so-called, he looked like a so-called white man. You know, now the jury's still out. If it be the Lord's will, we'll know. But, you know, man, he was he, he was he was of a contrite spirit now here, man. And the average Edomite don't get like that. Not like that. And not like you about to see. All right? But um, he's being exposed because, again, they paint everybody else as the wicked, as the evil man. But America does the greatest evil in the world to to the nation of Israel, to the to and I'm talking about the true nation of Israel, so-called Negro Latinos, Native Americans, as well as around the whole world. That hegemony, that Edomite hegemony, is is stemming from here, heavy. You know, it's other places too, like London, Russia. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, uh, you all throughout Europe, but America is like. That whore, that whore that, that sits upon the beast, that rise the beast, that influence the whole earth, that's America. And who runs America? It ain't the so-called Negroes. It ain't the so-called Latinos. It ain't the so-called Native American Indians. It's the so-called white man, Esau Edom. And I had a, I had something real quick, just bear with me. This is a picture that was posted, one of the brothers posted it up in the chat. And it says, every system and every institution in the United States was created originally and was designed and structured legally and intentionally to serve white people exclusively. And that's right. You got Jake out here in March and talking about some no justice, no peace. We want rights. We want equal rights. All these other nations, you know, that's not extremely benefiting. Mainly it's just Israel, Israelites, so-called Latinos, Negroes, Native Americans, West Indians, Haitians. You out here begging this man for a, a piece of his pie in the share in his in his kingdom, but um the system wasn't set up to benefit us, even though you do get little scraps and pieces, crumbs, essentially. This system, this uh, this American hegemony in this system was set up to benefit white people exclusively, mainly white males exclusively, man. And it says the system is designed for the result it's getting. If you want a different result, you will have to redesign the system. And that's what Yahweh Bashanel Shai is about to do. Yahweh Shai is coming back. He's going to redesign the system. He's going to change the system from wicked to righteousness, man. And we as the Israelites, Lord, when we are part of the elect of the nation of Israel, we're going to benefit directly from that. Like the kingdom of heaven is going to benefit us. It's going to, other people are going to benefit from it. Like in this society, you got Chinese, Japanese, uh, Pacific Islanders, uh, Arabs, all these other nations, they're even Hamites, they're been, they benefit from this kingdom in some way, uh, form or fashion. But it's the, the who gets the best benefit, the greater benefit, 
is the Edomites. Well, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to get the greatest benefits. The Israelites in the kingdom of heaven, that the new redesigned system, which is going to be a righteous system, but it's going to mainly benefit. Uh, who's going to get the greater benefit in that system? We are, the Israelites, man. But going back, this system was set up on white supremacy. And that's what a lot of people don't get. You don't understand. That's why they'll give a transunion group um, um, press uh, um, preeminence with rights and the fight for their rights. And they'll just come up with a fictitious um, 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 narrative that these people are really being oppressed and they're being held back and withheld, you know, to make people feel sorry for them. But when we do it, people are like, oh, your problem was already solved. We give y'all civil rights. We gave you a black president. We gave you social systems, and social programs that help you. But they really, all that shit was just a disadvantage for our people. I don't care if you talk about civil rights, the election of Barack Obama, to to uh, these so, so-called social programs, and they really benefit our the women of our nation, not the men. You know what I'm saying? Affirmative action, that shit really benefit women more than the, more than they do the so-called Negro. You know why? Because this system wasn't set up for us. You try to go get a loan, get a house. You think you're going to get it, but nine times out of ten, you ain't going to get it. Why? Because it wasn't set up for you to benefit from it. You know, you ain't going to get the scripture says he shall lend to you, but you shall not lend to him. And shit, those lending is very few and far in between unless they got extreme, um, extreme uh, usury attached to it. But an Edomite. They'll get a zero a zero percent loan in this society. You know, they'll go bankrupt and they'll still get loans. They'll default on a loan and still get loans. They loan to each other. But they, they make sure that we're oppressed. They make sure that we get nothing. You know? Why? Because the system was set up for Edomite supremacy. And, you know, Bobby Fisher, he's complaining about that, man. He was like, look, man, they fucked me over. So let me play this video real quick. Right? They asked, this is Bobby Fisher. I think he's in Iceland. And it says, Fisher, this is from seven years ago. It says, Fisher comments on arrival, comments on the United States. It's evil. United States is evil. United States says, uh, you know, there's a, this uh, axis of evil, blah, blah, blah. Well, what about the allies of evil? What about the United States, England, Japan, Australia, uh, and so on? These are the evildoers. A moral level uh, looking down on Iceland. I mean, the United States is so utterly hypocritical and corrupt. It's just a reliving of what happened. Oh, it's great, great, it's great. It's really great. Can I ask you, do you stop playing because you felt you'd achieved that you No, I, I wanted to play far. Yeah, so here it is. This uh, He told you, man, America is hypocritical, man. And it's crazy because these old guys, they see it. They see it. You got him, people like him, Noam Chomsky, they be talking about it. But nobody really listens to these people, man. Hey, the apostles and the bishops, elders, and the brothers on down, we talk about it. And people barely hear it. They think that this place somehow is going to turn the corner where it's going to help everybody. And one in one breath, they say, uh, you know, universal gender equality, racial equality, you know, uh, these are just buzzwords that they use and buzz terms that they use. But in reality, you're not going to get that. You're going to get complete inequality. Why? Because this place is corrupt. You know, every the judges judge for hire. The uh, the leaders uh, they 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 lead for hire. You know, they're they're in these lifelong positions where they get to manipulate the financial system and become millionaires. That's why a lot of these senators in America they they stay there for like forever. You got senators that's like nine, damn near pushing a hundred right now as we speak, rolling the fucking work in a wheelchair with assistance. But they will how they how they how are they getting voted in? You know, they these they so called have constituents in different states. These senators, I'm talking about the Congress, these the Congress and the, the House, the Senate House in America. These guys get these lifelong positions, and they get to grow old in these positions, right? They call them lifelong politicians. Why? How do they get to stay in there? Through manipulation, through greed, you know? And, and 
but they don't care about the people. Every once in a while, they'll come down and they'll say something to appease the people, especially come voting time. Now you want to visit HBCUs. Now you want to go to the so-called black church. Now you want to garner, you know, the black vote. See, what it is, these super elite want to see which one of these candidates has the appeal to, uh, the, to the masses to seduce them. Now you got Trump talking about some. He's trying to get the African American vote, and they talking about Abraham Lincoln being a Republican and how the Republican Party had the best interests of the so-called Negro. Neither one of these parties had the best interests of the tribes in America. None of them. Republican Party, Independent Party, or the Democratic Party, and they both work together, and they work together to put the people in confusion, and that's why this place is going to be destroyed. You know, this man Bobby Fischer was a, a world-renowned chess player. You know. He beat all kinds of people, won all kinds of awards, and in the end, they fucked him. And not only did America, he was talking about the Jews, too. Let me play this. States, England, Japan. It's evil, you know? And they also stole them. Pretty Jews. They're also, oh, Fisher, 1984-85, Karpov, Kasparov match was prearranged, move by move. The Dirty Jews, they're also, oh, Fisher, didn't write the book he said he was going to write. Yeah, but they don't say that they stole all my file on it. They don't say they stole several big moving boxes full of books that took me years to accumulate. They stole them from Beacons Moving and Storage, and they also stole them uh, from my mom when she passed away. I moved there in about 72. It's evil. United States. Yeah, he had to get out of America, man. This man moved out of America because it was so corrupt, and he was catching hell. Here it is, a, po a supposedly a world-renowned chess player, uh, 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 you know, a statesman, looking like a so-called white man. But in the end, this dude, <laughs> he couldn't benefit, man. Let me see what Bobby Fischer's nationality is. Says he's a, uh, Bobby Fischer was born Michael at Michael Reese Hospital, Illinois. His mother, Regina Fischer, was a U.S. citizen from Switzerland. His parents were Polish Jews. Yeah. He could be one of our people still, you know. But he, he's complaining about the small hats. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said they're dirty. Yeah, dirty J's. You know, he started going in, man. You know? He started going in. He definitely might be one of us. Because he's complaining, man. You know, he's he's pissed off. He was pissed off when he was here, man. And catching nothing but hell, man. But then again, these, these, these elites, they don't care about sacrificing their own either. That's another thing you got, too. They ain't like they just help every J that you see. Nah, if you're not part of the in crowd, you're going to get effed up in this in this world, man. And so they're talking about, you know, saving this world, how America is this beacon of light. But in reality, it's not. It's a bunch of BS, man. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5. I'm sorry, chapter 50, verse 5. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, and let us join ourselves to Yahweh Shai in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. That's right, we have. You know, and we're coming back to the Lord, you know. Matter of fact, let me read up. Matter of fact, I'll start at the top. Prophecy against Babylon. And this is not talking about ancient Babylon. It's talking about America. It says, the word of the Lord, the word that the Lord, Yahweh Bashiach Shah, spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah, the prophet. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken, Bel is confounded, Merodach is broken in pieces, and her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. Now, you would think that this is talking about ancient Babylon, but this is really talking about the daughter of Babylon too, because this place is full of, full of idols, and they worship all of these old idols that you see right here that we were just reading, Bel, Merodach, all of that, they, they, uh, Molech, all of that. It says, for out of the north, there cometh a, up a nation against her. And that, that nation is going to come out the north against her is, is Russia. Uh, what is it? Gog and Magog. All right. And it says, in her, it says, for out of the north come, cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. This didn't happen to ancient Babylon, which is in Iraq. It didn't happen like that. It's going to happen to America. And none shall dwell therein. Right. People still live in ancient the land of ancient Babylon today in Iraq. But people don't live 
people are not going to live in America when this place is destroyed. All right. Let's keep on reading. It says, uh, for, out of, for out of the north cometh a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. And they shall remove, and they shall, and, and they shall remove, therein they shall remove, and they shall depart, both man and beast. That's right, when this place is destroyed. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come. They and the children of Judah together, and that's what's happening right now. Okay? Going and weeping, they shall go up and seek the Lord, their power. And that's what we're doing today. The hopeful elect. We, uh, of, the, of the northern kingdom, which was called the kingdom of Israel, and the southern kingdom, which is called the kingdom of Judah. We're going up together right now, weeping. Why are we weeping? Because we, all the hell we catching. Our, of our condition. You know, of the, of the oppression. You know, repenting for our sins. You know? We're going up to Yahweh Bashim al Shai, weeping, and they shall go and seek the Lord their power. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come, let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Yeah, the, the, these leaders, you know, look at the so called black leaders, you know, look at the so called Latino leaders and Negro, I uh, uh, mean, West Indian leaders. Look at look at these people, man. You know, they, the, the Native American leaders. They they made our people go astray, man. They want us to be one with this place. You know, they want us to they they want us to feel like we got a chance and an opportunity in this place while they benefit and we get nothing but disadvantages. It says they have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. Right? These different nations, these different idols. You know, all that found them have devoured them, all these different nations, including the nation of Edom. And their adversary said, we offend not. Right. That's why these these Edomites, when it comes to them destroying us, they don't care because in their mind, they're doing a good thing. You know, in their mind or in their warped minds, they believe that some of these people actually think they're doing the Lord's work, man. You know, they, by destroying us, man, these people, they they, they can kill us. With no offense, but let somebody do something to these other nations, man. They're gonna know that they offended. But when it comes to us, because we don't have an army, because we don't we don't have sovereignty on this planet right now, because we don't have a land to call our own right now, because we are in all these different places where we're in captivity, especially America. These nations, these these nations, they say they don't they haven't offended because they have sinned against the Lord. So they're saying basically the reason why they didn't offend is because we sinned against the Lord. And that's why you got something called replacement theology. You know, that's why you got these nations looking at us like they like we like basically our condition is 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 God given, which it is to a point, but you nations, you still offending against the most high. And you offending us. Like the scripture said, you uh you Edomites, you, you nations, you 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 want above and beyond to destroy the children of Israel. You know what I'm saying? When our when, when our oppression had an end, you kept it going. You know, contrary to what most of our people believe, we're not free. You know, because you ain't getting whipped in the back. You ain't walking around here and changed from plantation to plantation. You might think that you're free. You're not free at all. We are not free at all. You're not sovereign. You know, um, at any given time, these privileges that Esau has given you, allowed you to have, he can take away from you. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep on reading. So lock you. Let's keep on reading. It says, uh, it says, all that found them have devoured them, and their adversary said, We offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord. Right? Because they know that scripture in, in Judah, I think it is Judah chapter five, they said that uh, when we sin against the most high, he would be against us. But if we didn't sin, if the Lord didn't find any wickedness in us, he would he would defend us and nobody could do nothing against us. So now they see us in this position that we're in a, in this world, you're born in a sin. You're born into a perpetual state of sin. Even if you don't want to do it, you're going to go off because the way the system is set up, it's a sinful system. You know what I'm saying? So they're like, let's keep them in a perpetual state of sin. Let's keep them destroyed always. Let's keep them at the bottom. Let's oppress them. You know, and their God is not going to show up for them, but they forgot about the remnant whom the, the Lord Pardon all 
all all the sins. You know what I'm saying? Just like he pardoned David. He said, look, man, you, you, uh, I have uh, forgotten your sin. Yeah, he still had to pay for it, but he had to pay for it in the extreme way. So let's keep on reading. It says, um, and, uh, and their adversary said, and who are our adversaries? These different nations, starting with the nation of Edom, said, we offend not because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even Yahweh, Bashin Yahweh the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations. This didn't happen to ancient Babylon. It was only one nation that came up against them, and that was the uh, Persians and the Medes, man. Well, they were two nations, but they were mainly the Persians, man. They, they were the ones that was really rocking and rolling and controlling, man, you know. But it's, it says assembly of great nations, and that's going to be all these nations that you see today. China, Russia, uh, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, you know, and even her own allies, Germany, England, uh, uh, all of them, all of them going to come up against America, man. And it says, uh, and it says, assembly of great nations, China, from, from the North country, and they shall set themselves array against her. From thence shall she be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert men. None shall return in vain. Right. So those arrows are the nuclear missiles. It's not talking about a bow and arrow that you hold in your hand. It's talking about um, um, those nuclear missiles, man. None of them going to go off in vain. It ain't going to one just going to explode and just, you know, the rest going to explode and hit and hit another target instead of the target that is designated. No, it's going to directly hit. And if you look at the map of uh, a map, of nuclear uh of nuclear targets man america is red you know let me see if i can find that yeah here it is right here this is an example of what i was just speaking of of the nuclear targets america is lit the fuck up man how how can how can this country was how can this country stand after being bombarded with all these nuclear missiles and even hawaii is uh is on this is on this let me see something open this in a new uh, open image in a new tab see how what it looked like yeah you see even um it's a lot here. The, all of the united states is, is a target for nuclear destruction you know what i'm saying and that's spiritual too because the lord is going to eviscerate this whole this whole country you know he's going to demolish it he's going to race it race it to the ground man and all these lines of confusion are going to be, uh, all these lines of confusion are going to be done away with these different state borders and all of that shit. All these rivers are going to be dried up, you know? And all it takes, several nuclear missiles can, uh, can eviscerate a portion of America. But you, look how, look how targeted this place is, man. The most targeted place on the earth is America. The most targeted place on the earth is America, man. Look, even this. The whole thing, somebody colored in with a uh, a red thing. It's, it's all, it says, it's all, it's all covered, man. You know? Look, there's another one. These are FEMA primary targets for Soviet ICBMs in the 1980s, man. But now those, that's the, the whole of America is covered. So let's go back to Jeremiah. All right. It says, for low, I read this, um, it says, uh, their arrows shall be as a mighty man. I'm sorry, their arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. That's right. This is the book of Jeremiah, um, chapter uh, 51, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be held. Okay? Let me keep on reading. It's a lot here. If so, she may be held. Um, um, so I feel right. Let me see. Yeah, let me read up. It says, uh, 
Jeremiah 51 and 6, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. And that's for the elect. All right. The elect are not going to be cut off in Babylon's iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Right. Yahweh Bashanah Shai is going to take vengeance on you nations. All y'all think that the one you can call God and Jesus, whose name is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Right. You think that the Lord is it just, you know, he just all loving. Everything just been going smooth for you Edomites uh, in this country, you know, that's that's benefiting extremely from this from this country. Right. You think that the Lord is really with you because he ain't saying nothing to you yet. But the Lord is about to come back and with, with hardcore vengeance on you, man. And he will render unto her a recompense. Let's see what that say in the NLT. It says, flee from Babylon, save yourselves. And we do that through Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. We can't save ourselves, but by leaning on Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah, we got a hope of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah saving us. All right? Don't get trapped in her punishment. Right? And two thirds of our people who are not woken up to this truth, who are destined to be destroyed, they're going to be trapped in her punishment. It is the Lord's time, it is Yahweh Bashan Yahweh's time for vengeance. He will repay her in full. Let's keep on reading. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Right, these nations are out of their damn mind. These nations, they drunk this wine, this democracy, this this uh, liberal sexual um, acceptance, all of that shit. You know, those, those are just a couple of things. Her, her economics, all of that, all of these philosophies, these nations... Have, have gotten, and it says that word for mad there is halal, and it says uh, foolish, so all these nations are foolish, uh, they, uh, uh, glory, commanded, renown, marriage, they definitely, they boastful ones, so these nations, they, they're boastful too, that's why you can go to these countries, certain these major countries that are in line with this place, and they got the same shit that America got going on, the, this liberal sex agenda is all crazy over there, um, the, the liberal feminism is all crazy all over there. You know, they're all about their money. You know, these, these nations are mad. Let's keep on reading. Babylon is suddenly falling and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, every one, into his own country. For, the, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So her judgment... How about Shimon Shah has remembered, and he's about to lay the lay the hammer on the hammer of the earth. The Lord have brought forth out, um, brought forth our righteousness. Come, let us declare Zion, the work of the Lord. How about Shimon Shah, our God, and that's what we're doing. That's exactly what we're doing. So you know, um, like I said, this video right here was the uh, main inspiration for this. It's Bobby Fisher, a Jake interview. In the Philippines in 2001, you should definitely check this out. Um, the video is right here. If you want to watch it, it's like seven, seven minutes, part two. He goes in, man. He 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 goes in on America, man. You know what I'm saying? But um, even in this video right here, you know, Bobby Fisher was going in, man. And you could tell that the journalist didn't really want to publish a lot of the stuff he was saying, you know. But um, because all these nations are in bed with America. Even if you think that they're enemies. So, um, you know, Bobby Fischer was so dismayed with his country and the way it was the way it was being run, you know, he got the hell up out of there. You know? And so I want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweh Shai, Bashan Garbadash. Double honors to the apostles and the bishop elders, the great millstone for teaching us his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow I can keep pushing, keep striving. And we're almost out of here. Hey, shalom.